Hi guys, on this video we're going to cover for you the differences between a Harrier GR3 nose cone and a Harrier GR1 specification nose cone which is the one you can see behind me which we've just fitted to the aircraft. We're obviously converting this aeroplane back to GR1 spec um, but to start with what I'm going to do is show you round the Harrier GR3 nose cone which is this one here. Uh, the nose cone is known as a dolphin nose or a snoopy nose and it's got a completely different profile to the earlier style nose cone. Uh, the reason for that is uh, in the 1970s the Harrier was upgraded from GR1 to GR3 specification and uh, that involved changing the profile of the nose to house some extra equipment. That was mainly the uh, Ferranti laser rangefinder unit which went inside this nose cone to uh, allow the aircraft to drop laser guided bombs and to illuminate targets. If I take this access panel off here, you can see where that laser rangefinder would have normally fitted. Uh, that's the same unit as fitted on aircraft like the Jaguar and then it went on uh, to be used on aircraft like the Tornado as well. You can see the mounting points in there where that would normally fit and um, there's little hydraulic actuators. These operate to open and close a pair of protective eyelids. These are basically armoured material which go over the end of the laser eye to protect it. These would open if the laser was being used and then close again. Um, that is the whole purpose that the nose profile was changed. The only other thing to talk about really on this nose cone is there's a, a window on the side which is for an F95 reconnaissance camera. The GR1 and the GR3 both use the same camera but the, uh, the location where the camera is fitted is slightly different and you can see the profile on the side of the cone is different as well. If we move round to this side, you can see the uh, opening where the uh, reaction nozzle would normally be. That's where the hot air comes out when the uh, aircraft's being controlled in the hover. And if we come round to this side of the cone, you can see there's an access panel which unscrews to give access to the camera bay. That's where the F95 camera would normally live. And it's normally housed inside a, a bag which is there to protect the film and stop it getting exposed really or stop any light getting in so the quality of the photographs are of a higher standard. On the very tip we have a, a pitot probe. Some people think these are aerials but that's actually um, a pitot static probe. With converting this aeroplane back to Harrier GR1 specification we had to lose the snoopy nose and we had to source and find a Harrier GR1 nose cone. Um, these, were, these were made obsolete in the uh, early 1970s and this was one of the hardest pieces to find for this restoration. This is a new old stock nose cone that we managed to get hold of and um, it makes the whole profile of the nose of the aircraft much more sleek and streamlined. It doesn't have the laser eye fitted that the Harrier GR3 had so it's a less capable aeroplane from a military point of view but it looks more aesthetically pleasing and uh, I really prefer the profile of the GR1 in comparison to the GR3. Uh, you can see there's a window in the side, in the port side. Again, that's for the same camera, that's the F95 reconnaissance camera. Um, that's the only thing really going on on the nose cone on a GR1. Um, you've got the same sort of Pito Pro fitted with the, you can see on the end here, we've got the very small hole for sensing Pito airflow down the tip for instrumentation like the airspeed indicator and you can see the very small holes on the probe just there which is for static air pressure for instruments like the the altimeter there's um quite an unusual uh fairing on this side this panel would normally remove to give access to the camera bay and they've had to design into it a small bulged fairing so the camera would actually fit in there we fitted a nose cone onto the aircraft and um, it's going away to be painted with this on. The painters are just going to flat it off. They decided that the paint was so good on this cone that they're going to leave that on. And if we have a look just on the underside, we can see the uh, nose reaction nozzle. That's the uh, very similar type nozzle to is fitted on the tail. This one opens and closes to allow high pressure bleed air out to control the aircraft 
in pitch when that opens the high pressure air blows out of there to lift the nose up in a pitch angle and you can see the stenciling on the side that says danger because obviously you've got very hot high pressure air blowing out of there so any ground crew working around the aircraft if that's opened and closed when the pilot moves the stick you stand a chance of getting burnt um, and they've got what it is power control and jet blast so that's just a original 1960s warning stencil applied which is quite a nice little uh, finishing touch.